So how common is autism? This is a very interesting and controversial um, subject and a lot in the media there is concern that the diagnosis of autism has substantially increased. Uh, the present data is 1 in 88 of our children are being diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder and this is really a global statistic. There are differences in different areas, for example in areas in New Jersey there was a diagnosis of 1 in 49. A recent CDC telephone based survey of parents reported that 1 in 50 homes had a child with an autism spectrum disorder. Now, that's not the best way to analyze it, but these are prevalent studies. Um, there's concern that uh, we are overdiagnosing this, and uh, or is there truly an increase? And that debate is ongoing. There has been a change in the diagnostic criteria that has taken place between the DSM-4 and the DSM-5, and that is now going to change some of the prevalence data because of the way we diagnose these children. There is controversy that we are over-diagnosing children with autism spectrum in the sense that um, a lot of neurologic diagnosis, for example the Rett syndrome has been included, or uh, children who were previously not diagnosed like Asperger's or high functioning autism are now being included because we have widened the spectrum of the diagnostic criteria. However, the other side is there are areas which have higher incidence of autism being diagnosed. For example, a Somali population that came and settled in Canada picked up an increased incidence of autism compared to even the area around. So was there genetic tendencies or uh, SNPs, for example, or uh, differences that with environmental triggers caused an issue and an increase? Was it something in the family that we had this cohort of people coming in? So there is a lot of concern about a true increase in the incidence of autism and a lot more studies need to be done. Uh, one in 88 of our children being diagnosed is of concern. With the new diagnostic criteria of the DSM-5, there are going to be new studies that are needed to see what the trajectory is and what it is in different areas because now we have a social communication disorder which has actually been removed from the diagnostic criteria. Similarly, RETS, which only occurs in girls as a neurologic condition, has also been removed from the diagnostic criteria. Prevalence is important for us to address this increase that we are seeing. It's because we're going to need a lot more services and a lot more support for families. So whatever the understanding, whether it's over diagnosis or truly an increase in the incidence and prevalence of autism, the reality is the present data is 1 in 88 of children is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder. Whichever side of the controversy that you fall on, whether you believe it is increase in prevalence because of increase in diagnostic criteria, or you think there's truly an increase in incidence, we are still researching that, but the truth is we need more services and resources for the children and for their families.